Welcome to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a full circle flay skirt known as 360 degrees flay. So please stay till the end of this tutorial. So now to start up this tutorial, I want you to understand the calculation involved when making a, a full circle. So when we talk about a full circle, we are talking about full circle, complete circle, as you can see in this drawing right now. This is a complete circle. And the part I'm touching is called the circumference. And is also referred to as 360 degrees flay because it is a full circle. So this full circle flay, many at times we use 6.28 to divide our circumference. But in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how we come about the 6.28. So here, each circle always have a radius. The outer part of it is called the circumference, which is the part you are going to measure. And the inner part of it is called the radius. From the center of the flay, touching the circumference is called the radius. So there is a parameter which is very constant, known as C is equal to 2 pi R. So C is the circumference, as you can see. The part I'm touching is C, known as the circumference. And Y pi is a constant. And R is the radius. So pi is 3.1. 142. It is mathematically derived and it is very, very constant. You always see pi as 3.142 any day, any time. So the formula is C is equal to 2 pi R, whereby C is the circumference around where you are going to take the measurement for your flay. The radius is the part I'm touching right there from the center of the flay to the circumference of the flay. So right now, we want to find out the radius. Of course, the circumference is the area you want to attach the flay. It can be on the waist, it can be on the sleeve, on the bicep of the sleeve, on the elbow of the sleeve. It can be anywhere, even on the neckline. So wherever you want to use a full circle, just go ahead and take the measurement of the circumference. So for this particular tutorial, we are making use of the waist circumference as 32 inches. So that is the circumference we want to work with, 32 inches. Taking around your waist measurement. So any, any figure you have for your waist circumference or anywhere you want to attach this full circle flay, just go ahead and pick or measure that part. So for me, I'm making use of 32 inches as the waist circumference. So now we are going to bring back the formula C is equal to 2 pi R. And we want to make R the subject of the formula. Note that this formula is constant. It's very, very constant. So from this formula, we are going to get our R by making R the subject of the formula. So I'm substituting all the figures, our circumference, pi, which is 3.14, because that 2 is insignificant. You can see me take it off, cancel it out, times R. So now we want to make R the subject of this formula. So we'll be able to get the radius for which we are going to use to cut out our 3 160 degrees. So I'm going to bring back my equal sign and place 32 where it is. We are looking for R, so it's, it's going to be the subject of the formula. So you are going to multiply 2 times 3.14. When going over the equal sign, it becomes division in mathematics. So that is how we got 6.28. So many at times we divide our waist circumference with, with 6.28 to get our radius. So this is exactly how it is gotten. So the skirt I'm making right now has a two side pocket. So because it has a pocket on the two sides, I'm just trying to make a sketch of the 
flare skirts we are making in this tutorial so on both sides i've decided to add two inches one one inch on both sides to join the skirts okay to the 32 so if you add 32 to the two joining before we cut we are going to have 34 divided by 6.28 which will give us 5.4 as the radius of the flay cutting so i believe this is well understood so the next thing we want to understand is the length of this full circle skirt so the length of my skirt is 30 inches and it has a 2 inches band so since we are going to cut out the band separately i'm going to deduct the full length from my band of two inches so i'm going to have a new length of 28 inches to work with so in order to cut this particular skirt without having a uh, excesses or shortages on the fabric we are going to put together the new length plus the radius which is 28 plus 5.4 so here i have 33.4 so 33.4 inches is go we are going to use it to fold our full circle skirt so i'll be showing you how to go about it okay so of course you understand how we got the new length the full length of the skirt minus the band gave us 28 inches which we added to the radius to cut our skirt so i'm going to approximate 33.4 to 33.5 inches so we'll be able to measure so it's time to measure and i'm taking the measurement from the tip of my skirt of my fabric i'm measuring 33.5 i'll add one inch so just add one inch to your measurement i'm adding one inch to 33.5 and i'll have 34.5 and I'll hold it on that part and fold it the second time. So holding it there and folding it the second time. Can you see? So I've already calculated it and I want to show you what I did. So I have two of it now. That is 34.5 multiplied by 2. Okay, so that will just give you like 2 yards. Approximately 2 yards for one part of the skirt. So I'm going to also cut out another 34.5 times 2 folded by 2 just like i did for the front for the back so here i have equal for front and back the same thing i did for front i also did for back so i have two two yards approximately two two yards for both of them for my circle skirt so we are going to fold this 34.5 which is doubled so on the folded part i'm going to fold it like a triangle so i want you to watch how i'm folding it can you see so i'm folding the front piece of my skirt now so i folded it like a triangle so the open part i brought it to the folded part and formed it a triangle of course you will have a shortage at the end of it is normal for flay cutting so the next thing i want to do is to start taking the measurement of our full measurements of the skirt which is 34.5 so i'm going to mark from the tip 34.5 i'll keep taking it from the tip 34.5 34.5 34.5 till i get to the other end of the flay so once i get to the other end of the flay i'm going to highlight the circle then we'll cut the radius so from the tip of the ray of the circle i'm going to cut the radius at 5.4 according to our calculation okay so the inner part of it now is what we are going to cut so the inner part of the circle is the radius like i demonstrated early in this uh, tutorial so which is 5.4 so i'll measure 5.4 
all around 5.4 all around it so after doing that we are going to cut out the radius and then we are going to cut out the outer part of the circle so our front skirt is ready right now the front part of the skirt is very much ready they are making a notch at the center front of it and this these are the sides of the skirt so this is the back which is also the same length with the front the same measurement 34.5 double so now you can see the double part of it this time around we are not going to fold it into four we are folding it only into two so on the folded parts i'm going to mark out my zipper allowance on the folded part my zipper allowance is one inch one inch one inch from top to the bottom of the fabric so i'm going to highlight the zipper allowance so highlight the zipper allowance then after that i'm going to bring back my front flay which i just cut right now and i'm going to place the center front part which i notched on the line of the zipper allowance so when you place it you make sure you place it to match accordingly with the edges so I'm trying to make adjustment to make sure it matches with the edges as you can see. So I'll secure it with my pin before I cut. And I'm going to cut exactly the radius and the outer part of the flay the way the front is. So I'm cutting exactly what I have for the front for the back. So I will cut the radius right now. Then this is the radius which I have cut. I'm going to cut the outer part of the flay as well. So for the outer part of the flay, so make sure you lay it on the line, on the zipper line. So I'm going to cut out the outer part of it right now. So once that is done, I'm going to open up the, so you can see what I have right there. Okay, so it has to be four pieces like this before we open up the zipper allowance. So for the back now, I will open the zipper allowance because that part was on fold. So I've opened it up. That is my zipper allowance and the front piece is still on fold. So I'm going to make notches on the zipper allowance on top and below. So I'll be able to sew my zipper appropriately. So after that is done, the next we want to do now is to take the measurement of the pocket. So from the upper part, just come down by two inches for your pocket and make a notch at that point. You make a notch at that point, two inches from that point. So my pocket, I have four pieces of it, 10 inches for width and 10 inches for the length. And I have four pieces of it. So I'm going to come down by 1.5 from that edge and measure seven inches from that edge. Then I'm going to place my hand. This is how I, I like to cut my pocket. So from that edge, I'll just draw the shape of my hand and return it back to that point, as you can see. Highlight the line and then cut out your pocket. So I'll go ahead and cut out my pocket, as you can see me doing right here. So I'm going to mark out the parts that is the wrong side and the right side of this fabric. So I'll be able to place my pocket. So mark out wrong side, just make the marks. It will help you to sew it because of the kind of fabric we are using. So the upper part of the pocket, you have to place it on the upper part of the pocket. 
I'm also marking the wrong side on the pocket as well. So I'm going to place the damp piece of the uh, pocket and the upper part of the pocket on the notch I made. Make sure you place the upper part on the notch and I'm going to sew 0 0.5 inch. I'm going to stitch my pocket with 0 0.5 inch. So I'll go over to my machine now to sew the pockets from the notch, which I have done right now. The pocket is ready for the front. And then you can see the stitches right there. So I'll also stitch the pocket for the back as well, which I've done. So I'm going to place, align the pocket for front and back very, very well and secure them with my pin from top to bottom. So make sure you align the pockets. They are supposed to be equal once you align them. Then I'm going to stitch from the upper points. I'm going to stitch half an inch and I'll stitch half an inch and then return back to half an inch. So I will go over, I will just make the markings of where I'm going to stitch right now. So I'll just make the marks of where I'm going to stitch right away. So these are the lines I'm going to stitch from the pocket. I'll go in by my seam allowance and I'm going to stitch to the end of it like that. So I will go back to the machine now to stitch it close on both sides. So here I've stitched it on both sides. After that, we are going to take the measurements of the, we are going to put it together for the zipper. So on the zipper line, you can see what I have, one one inch marking for my zipper. So the zip I'm going to make use of always come is a short zip that comes at nine inches length. So, but because we have two inches of our band, so I'm going to take off the two inches from the zipper of nine inches and I'm going to mark seven inches from the waistline of this pocket right now. So it comes at nine inches, take away two inches for the band and the remaining measurement will be seven inches. So I'm marking seven inches right away from the top of the skirt. Wherever you have seven inches, just go ahead and mark it. Then I've marked the seven inches as you can see. So that is where I'm going to stitch. So I will go over to the machine now and I'm going to stitch from that mark of seven inches. I'll stitch from there to the end of the skirt. So here I've stitched and you can see the seven inches opening for my zipper. So the next is to take the measurement of your waist circumference. So the waist circumference we are working with is 32 inches if you remember. But I, because of the zipper allowance of two inches, which we created uh, for the zipper, we will have 34 inches for the skirt. So here you can see I have 34 inches. So this 34 inches for my skirt right now, the waist is what I'm going to use to cut the waistband, which I've done. So the waistband is five inches by width. 5 inches by width, the waistband, but the length is 34 inches, which I just measured. So I hasted it and I also folded it at 0 0.5, as you can see. So now I'm going to sew the waistband. The part that I did not fold, I'll place it on the right side to wrong side of it. Okay, then I'm going to stitch 0 0.5 inch all around. Then the folded part of 0 0.5. This folded part is very important because after stitching, you are going to use it to top stitch. So I'm going to the machine and which I have sewn. So you can see how I stitched it. 
Now I'm going to bring the folded part and place it neatly like this and top stitch on top of it. So this is exactly what I'm going to do on my machine right away. I'll top stitch till I get to the end of it. So here my band is very much ready, neat and beautiful. So I will now bring in my zip of 9 inches length and I've sewn it as you can see right there. So I've also hemmed the part of my skirt. So thank you for